Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. This is part 11, and we're right here at inside the Bandit Bates base, actually inside their small warehouse, I guess you could call it, because it's filled with vodka and stuff. And I think I'm gonna actually right now haul some of this stuff back to the bar um, to sell, or at least just to stash off, and also get some more ammunition and possibly have my stalker suit repaired. Um, and I'm gonna do all that in fast forward so you don't have to just sit and watch me run around a lot. Um, so I shall see you back in a couple of minutes. Um, there's gonna be more stuff than I can hold back uh, with only one trip, but eventually in some later episodes I might come back and get some more of this stuff. But for now I just wanna bring some of it back. Um, and get some more ammo, so I shall see you in a couple of minutes. We are back at the bar. Um, as you may have noticed, I did pick up actually a good number of artifacts along the way, including another sparkler and a flash, which both provide endurance recovery, so that's pretty neat. Um, just gonna stash off all this stuff I certainly don't need. I also found this one, a soul, which is the best artifact for health regeneration, so that's kind of neat. Um, uh -huh. Okay, I got lots of... I'd also want to just repair my AK since it actually jammed once when I was fighting the bandits and that's certainly not something I want to ha have happen too often, so... Yeah, I think that's gonna do it. I'm just gonna sell off these AKs. Hmm, okay, well, ammo can have these three, which are worthless. Mm, okay. 
So, can you repair some of my gear? Okay, repair the weapon. Just like new! And repair my armor, 2200. Okay, indeed, excellent work, thanks. Um, but I have a good amount, plus I don't think I've sold any of my artifacts, so... Still a lot of money to be made on them. Um, so, let's head back to the Dark Valley. See you in a bit. Okay, and we are back in the Dark Valley, where we... Um, two episodes ago, I guess, um, ambushed these bandits. So, time to find that lab. And I'm picking up some PDAs already, and since I can't actually see... Okay, there's a red dot. Jesus, this night vision is terrible. Well, guessing there are some bandits here, seven now. Okay, that's one down. Repair kit. Portable repair kit. Nice. That could be very useful. Okay, one right there. Okay, there's one more. This doesn't help. This might. was right there. Okay. Okay, I think that's another two. Still two PDAs left. Just gonna grab everything for the moment being. I think I saw a dot upstairs when I was outside, so I think I'm gonna head up there and see what's going on with that.
Oh, jeez. Huh, I thought they were all using headlamps, but apparently not. Okay, so... I th mm, one more. Just gonna grab this stash while I'm here. Okay. Okay, I'm just gonna head out into this room and use this box to stash off this, uh, these items we don't really need. At least at the moment. Whoops. Want to keep that. Oh. We're good. I think the last one might be down here. Oblivious to the fact that all his friends has been murdered. Okay, let's just quickly grab that, head back upstairs and stash that off and be on our merry way. So, I think we can finally safely enter the laboratory. So, now we just need to find more documents. Okay, we are inside the X-18 lab. And not entirely alone. Here. Yeah. Artifacts. Okay. Ow. <laughs> and yeah, we're definitely not alone. I think there's an anomaly right there. Yep. And a lot of noises. Strange noises. Okay, I think I'm just gonna... Let's see... Get out some anti-radiation artifacts. Quickly get down here and out again. Because that was severely radiated. an armor inside one of them. A monolith suit. I'm not particularly fond of dressing up like the monolith. If you don't know why, well, we will see in a good number of episodes. 
Whoops. But um, I've actually picked up a good bunch of stuff, including an AK with a grenade launcher on it. Um, let's just get that loaded. And my favorite pets. Snorks. Damn you, snorks. Okay, I think I got both of them. Anti-rats, and right here, I think we have more anomalies. There's one there, one there, and a corpse. Excellent. I'm glad you have been granted level two access. To find out what our lab actually does now, your access code is one two four three. Okay, one, two, four, three. Let's just have another look around. Nope. And there is a comet anomaly inside here. I'm not sure if there's actually anything useful, though. Um... Doesn't seem like it. Okay, there's a corpse. Whoa! out of here. Okay, a corpse with a stash it seems. And a med kit, so not entirely nothing, I suppose. And a nice pool of good stuff. And an artifact. Whoops. A Mika, I think. First one I found, oh, slug. Okay, I might actually have found one of these before. Hmm, okay. Urgh. Yeah, and I think that's it. I think we've cleared this level, so I'm guessing up next will be to go through the door and further into the lab. But um, I think this might be a decent spot to end this particular episode, so we're going to deal with more creepy business in the next one. But um, until then, thank you a lot for watching, and see you soon. Take care.